Ready for me now? Don't forget now, I'm that shifty horse-racing tycoon, Lord Quickwick. <laughs> well, I can't say I'm sorry. The man was an absolute monster. We were business partners once in a pot-bellied pig ranch in Madagascar called the Double Cross. The ranch's name should have told me what he was up to. Yeah, that's not really a good thing to name your ranch, probably. When I left for a weekend in Greece with our buyers, he sold the whole herd to a sausage factory that insisted they'd been stolen. Your house is a sausage factory, Lord Cheswick. Brumch. I had no proof that he was lying, so I lost my life savings while he ranked in the lolly. Uh, you know, Jennifer, I hope you remember I'm in character. The Count's an excellent fellow, really. Smashing tennis partner. Can't imagine him living up to these dreadful yarns. Ahem, as I was saying, we all knew of his aversion to rodents, mice especially. It seems that while travelling in Bavaria, he was once attacked by a horde of the horde's squeaking creatures, and his entire set of luggage was devoured. What? Was his luggage made of Swiss cheese? Ever since then he's had a terror of them. We've all heard his endless complaints about that bad heart of his. Why, just this morning, over breakfast, he announced that his doctor had warned him that one bad scare could knock him stone dead. Hmm. Croquet mallets and balls are scattered around the lawn. Some of their croquet mallets have blades of fresh grass sticking to them. They appear to have been recently used. How useless. Solve. I think we've cornered the Count's killer. Pick the clues that you think best point out our suspect. Mm -hmm. I wish Sir Toby had been here. In his Shere Khan outfit. <laughs> Wait, what's the other clue? What the fuck? Those are the clues that we need to crack this case. Now point out the reason you suspect of... Person you suspect of scaring the Count to his doom. I don't know, the Chesics look pretty shady. You got it, Carson! The butler did it! How creative. Lady Salt Co Salt Coats told us we need. Lady Salt Coats told us we needed to show that our suspect had the motive and opportunity to commit the murder, as well as evidence linking him or her to the crime. It certainly seemed like everyone had a motive to bump off the Count, so we needed to see who had the opportunity. The Count's fall smashed a clock, stopping it at the exact time of the murder, 4.05. Julia told us that she prides herself on her promptness, and served tea today at 4 o'clock p.m. exactly. She also said that Rutherford, Uncle Basil, and the Count did not have tea. The tea set in the library had enough seatings for four people. We learned that Lady Saltcoats, Lord and Lady Cheswick, and Julia had tea today. That rules them out. They were too busy munching hot cross buns in the library to have killed the Count at 4.05. That only leaves Uncle Basil and Rutherford with the opportunity to mouse the Count to death. But we had another clue, too. The Count left a sign to help pinpoint his murderer, the sign of an X, or a cross. Uncle Basil had no X's or crosses in his story, but that does, but that does tie in with Ruther, <laughs> Rutherford's revenge motive. The Count had cheated him out of the Victoria Cross, a very important military medal. That was why the Count scrawled a cross as he died. 
Rutherford had the motive and the opportunity to kill the Count, and we found a clue that linked him to the crime, the symbol of the Victoria Cross, led, left by the dying man. Rutherford, you're going to jail. But I thought this was just a murder mystery game. You're going to jail. Oh, God, Uncle Basil, please just stop. Dear Carson and Jennifer, I again wanted to relay our delight that you were able to solve our annual murder mystery weekend. As you two clever things deduced, the butler did it. I was convinced that my red herrings would throw you off track, but you came through with flying colors. Congratulations, my dears. We look forward to seeing you at Malford Manor again shortly. Lady Saltcoats. And then after we left and Basil got kicked out, the real party began.